This shirt is like false advertisement. I am nowhere near a rebel. I'm quite the opposite. My voice is cracking, right? You need me. I'm gonna tell you a story that happened to me that was really gross and I hope it never happens to any of you. But I'm very bad at telling stories, so we're gonna just see how it goes. Work with me, work with me, and yeah, let's do this. So, as you guys know from previous videos, I'm in this thing called 4-H, and 4-H is county fair. Well, I show chickens, and to dress for that you have to wear a white shirt and black pants. Well, I had to run to the bathroom before I had to show, so I ran to the bathroom that was like at the fair, not my camper. So I ran in there and uh, I get out in like an hour later I think, or a few minutes, I don't know. <laughs> my mom's like, oh you got poop all over your pants. We thought it was like from a cow I might have brushed up against or something or a pig. No. Well, we thought that, and we're like, okay, we'll just clean it off. We'll just clean it off, because it's animal. So, we did that. We cleaned it off. We got wipes, and it was almost on my white shirt. Well, luckily, it just got my pants. And, okay, I like show and stuff, and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> my voice is cracking. <sighs> and, like, a few hours later, hours, not, like, minutes, I go back into the bathroom, the same stall, because I have my stall. I don't use any other that whole week. But anyways, I go to my stall, and I go to the bathroom, and I see on the toilet, running down the front of it, is human poop. I was like, ah! I was like, oh my god, that was an animal earlier. It was human. Human. Do you hear me? Human. And, uh, so yeah, I almost threw up. My mom's like, I touched that. And it was the grossest experience I've ever had. To the lady that cleans it, I was like, you may want to clean the stall. She's like, what? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I haven't used that stall since. Like, or I do. And I like check the toilet before I sit because I'm like, <laughs> it scarred me for life. So that's the grossest thing that ever happened to me. Um, yeah. So I wanted to tell you that because I like ran out of ideas. I'm like in a idea slump, and so I just <laughs> I shared that with you. I need a drink. Uh. Something popped and it hurt really bad. <laughs> the new show sucks. I think these are like the weirdest things ever. Like if you take off your flats and you're like, yo! <laughs> oh, it's a candle. I thought it was a shot glass. I'm like. Why is that in my room? Intervention time. That was like so serious. <laughs> Look at this light. See the pig? See the pig? It's just a little pig. I ate my little. So, yeah, that's that. I should like call up my friend and be like, Do you have cheer practice? And she'll be like, uh, Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, You suck. Let's call her. I don't know.
Not answer me. Let's Snapchat this moment. Uh, it won't turn around. Follow me on Snapchat. Bam.22. The promo. Uh, did you hear that? I wanted it to like spling out when I did that. It'd be like that. Like a lightsaber. So the story time video. Um just kind of went everywhere. Thanks guys for watching. Um hope you enjoyed this video story time thing with me uh yeah like if you like it give it a thumbs up because that means you like the video and i'll probably do like better story times yeah here was just a little short one i told you i'm not good at telling stories comment down below what's the grossest thing that happened to you in your life so far bye you guys Bye.